Okay, we did find another one. Is that seriously that small? Am I seeing this right? Is this... What the fuck? What is that? Hey there, stick fuckers! Dregast here, and welcome back to another episode of Turmoil. So, the last episode was pretty much the worst episode I've ever done in Turmoil history. Everything that went wrong did go wrong. That doesn't even make sense. Everything that possibly could have went wrong did go wrong. And it was a complete embarrassment, and I'm scared to even upload the video, to be honest, but I'm sure you guys understand every now and then you just kind of fuck up, and that's exactly what happened last time. So I've taken a little break, and now hopefully I have a clearer mind, therefore I can do a better season than last season. Obviously this gas has added a lot of strategy to this game, and I'm not used to it again. Again, it's been like... God, I gotta say almost a year since the first time I did play Turmoil, so doing the gas strategies were something that I haven't done in a long time. Regardless, we're gonna try and do it again today, and hopefully it goes a little better. No promises, though. I don't even know what I really want to upgrade now, right now. Honestly, I don't have a lot of money anyway, so I think we're just going to do the stock auction, and uh, we'll see how much we have after this. So it's another 3% share. I'm thinking somewhere around 12,000. I don't think... Well, if, if someone beats me, I don't really care. It's a 3% share, it's not huge or anything, so I'm gonna go at around 12,000. Now, I do have the smallest stack of money. These guys have been saving up quite a bit, so I'm assuming someone's going to beat me to this, but yes, there we go. Uh, who was that? Ricardo ended up getting it, so that's good for us because he only has a 4% share. Uh, the only one I really need to worry about right now is Joshua. Joshua is getting ahead of the competition. Uh, I, of course, have a 9%. He has a 13%. So, yeah, I definitely want to watch Joshua, and hopefully he doesn't get any more. So, that went pretty well for us. We didn't waste any money, and Ricardo ended up getting it, which really isn't too bad for us. So, in terms of upgrades, I think I'm going to do a save run here. I could upgrade the size too, but I'm not really using my sensors too much. And speed 2 for my moles would be another good upgrade, but not a crucial one in my opinion. Let's go to the saloon really quickly, see if there's anything new here, and then we'll get out and see how we do this year. Alright, right ink, we can upgrade the price to 94 cents for $9,000. $9,000 is a little too much for me, so I'm not gonna do that. Reduce in next year's interest rates by 40% for $500. I think we're actually gonna do that because I do generally spend quite a bit of money uh, for loans, generally around two to 3000 so that's obviously going to be cheaper than the amount I just paid. And of course, we still got Anthony wanting some diamonds, and we still <laughs> have not found one this whole fucking season. So those damn diamond drilling moles didn't work out for me. Once again, let's hope they can help me later on though. Oh shit, I actually gotta go. I'm, I'm ready to go freaking drilling. I didn't even do the land auction yet. Okay, let's see how we're doing here. You can see uh, a lot of the northern yields seem to be way better than the southern, but we do got a 53 down here, so it's really hard to judge because that's a really good one as well. I think I'm gonna go over... I'm thinking like right here. I, I feel like that's gonna be a good spot. These guys, for whatever reason, are bidding for these middle spots, which aren't yielding very well at all. So guys, feel free to do that. I'll go in the north and see if I can find anything up there. Okay, you guys have been mad that I'm not calling them stick fuckers anymore, so I'll do my best to remember these guys are stick fuckers and not dowsers. Sorry guys, I didn't mean to uh, name them the wrong thing. There we go. Actually, did all three of them do it? No, just two of them did it. We're gonna go for this guy right here, and please tell me it's right down at the front of it. Oh. Nope, nothing here. Great. Okay, but we did actually hit oil. That's not too bad at all. And let's put another rig right in the middle of these two. And we're going to do uh, some big pipes here because I don't want to do too many rigs this time. Generally, with more rigs, the piping gets confusing, especially when you're adding gas to left or right ink. So I don't want to have to deal with that if I don't need to. Now, I shouldn't be kind of just randomly putting pipes down because there is gas now. I run the risk of hitting the gas nodes and wasting them. Okay, but we do have some oil coming in. I probably should get a few loans here. We're going to do a $2,000 loan and get some wagons here and start getting this oil. So just like last time, we're actually gonna buy a silo as well. I'm gonna buy one silo for left, one silo for right, and we'll start storing a lot of this stuff. And there is, I'm hoping, another oil node. I'm not gonna waste the sensor because I'm almost certain it is, but we'll find out here. Yes, we did hit another oil node. That's perfect. Let's hire a few more stick fuckers. And uh, let's do some random moles as well. Maybe we'll find a random diamond or something. And because we did buy that loan benefit, we're gonna buy some more money. I'm gonna store a lot of oil this season. You can see we're currently 
only had 80 cents. I'm gonna wait for like a dollar, I'm thinking. Uh, another guy found something here. So generally, I once it gets this late into the season, I'm getting used to the buttons again here, guys. Sorry. Uh, but yeah, once it gets later into the season, the oil is generally lower, so I don't want to waste pipes. There we go. We did find that one, so I'm gonna use this pipe to go over there. And we found some oil over on this side as well. I'm assuming that's what this guy's waving about, so let's go attach to that one. So far, we haven't hit any rocks. That's really nice. And I did find some gas right here as well. Oh, speak of the devil, we just hit the damn rock with this one over here. So let's just upgrade to it to not deal with any more rocks. I generally like to upgrade early on because I did waste money on these upgrades anyways. Well, not waste money, but I did spend a lot of money on these upgrades. And of course, I do want to utilize them. And we're going to connect these together because we hit rocks over here as well. So buying that rock upgrade was definitely worth it. Left ink over a dollar, so let's start selling because we're going to need some money right away. Okay, there we go. Both my rigs are attached now. That means when I use my gas, I got to make sure to close both of my rigs and not fuck up like I did last time. That's a very nice node there. Uh, decently medium-sized one, so that's always good. And we almost overflowed. Let's get some more wagons here. You know what? We should probably upgrade these wagons, too. I'm not gonna get another loan. I'm just gonna wait for these guys to do a few loads, and hopefully I can get 750 bucks here. Come on! One... Oh, I don't think we're getting enough of that one. Uh, it takes like two wagons worth to get like 500 bucks. It, it seems like you earn more, but you actually just have a lot of wagons going on. And that's how you earn so much money. Okay, maybe I should upgrade even to speed now. Because, as you can see, that was dangerously close to overflowing. Holy shit, why am I not paying attention to these prices? Look at right in, get a dollar thirty-eight right now. Hell, I'm gonna buy a few more wagons, because we're gonna need them anyways, and let's sell as much of this oil as we can, guys. Hell, let's upgrade speed as well. I wanna get all my oil sold, because a dollar thirty is even good with, like, gas prices. Okay, but now that we have upgraded wagons, and they are speedy wagons as well, we shouldn't have any issues with wagons anytime soon. Ten wagons that are upgraded with speed, uh, you can actually do most seasons with that many wagons, so we should be totally fine with that. Prices are dropping now, so I'm gonna start storing because I do want to do the gas strategy once again. Okay, we're gonna hire some more moles. I want to find those random gas nodes if I can. Also, this guy over here has been waving for like a month, so to rest his arm, let's try and find this oil node and see if we can get to it. Uh, nothing up there. Oh, there's something right there. Is that? I'm assuming that's oil. It could be gas, though. Uh, yes, a nice small little node, so we're gonna connect to that right now. Alright, I'm not feeling this ground is very lucrative, though. We found a decent amount of nodes, but nothing huge like we have been finding, so I'm not- I'm thinking the north might have been a mistake. Uh, regardless, sometimes you gotta take risks like that and see what's in the ground. Uh, I think we'll still have a decent season, though. Okay, we did find another node. It looks like it's right down here somewhere, so let's see if we can find it right now. It's probably deeper. I don't think it's gonna be all the way up there, or they would have found it earlier on. So I'm gonna have to wait for that node. Let's just speed up here and start storing some of this, actually. Let's upgrade these because we're gonna need to anyways. Okay, there we go. We did speed up the time and we actually did find that node with the um, sensor. It was just deeper than I expected. So let's go connect to that. And I guess, I think I hired three dowsers and only one found something. So this might be all the oil in the ground. And if that is the case, this is gonna be one of the driest seasons yet. Okay, but we need another silo. We're gonna store as much of this as we can. I gotta use gas this season because if we have this little amount of oil, you definitely want to sell it for like almost two dollars. And speeding up time, it's looking like the stick fuckers are not finding anything in this ground. Yes, they did in fact leave. So this is all the oil I get. Wow, this is going to be a fun season. If, if we do it right, it can be very profitable though. Uh, I'm just gonna start storing as much as I can. Let's sell uh, with a few wagons here, not too many. I'm gonna sell with four because we are getting low on money and I do want to prepare with gas nodes um, to pre prepare right, right and left ink for that big sale. Okay, so I'm trying a different strategy with the pipes. If you remember last time, I had a big issue with closing my rig. So I've basically made a pipeline all the way through all my pipes. That way, if I do close my rigs, it's not going to stop the flow of gas and oil. So now I can attach... At least, at least I think I can attach left or right ink, close my pipes, and not have any gas overflow. So that should be good. Let's hire a few more moles. Hopefully we can find a few more gas nodes because there's not too many in the ground right now. Uh, but it's looking like it's not going to be a very good season, guys. I'm, I'm actually almost out of oil already. Okay, we did find a few gas nodes, so I'm going to prepare my pipes to connect to these things. They're very small, as you can see. They're still worth it, in my opinion, though. Uh, because gas is a great commodity, so we're going to put pipes as close to them as we can and then simply attach to them when we actually want to boost that price. Uh, this one over here is close enough, so we don't have to worry about that. I'm thinking that's all of them. I don't see too many others. It looks like one, two, three, four, and that's really it. So this is, uh, 
Very dry ground, guys. Okay, almost all the gas is out of the ground. You can see there's pretty much nothing left in here. So I'm actually watching the prices right now because we can sell whenever we want. I'm just waiting for like $1, $10, 20 to boost the price. So let's speed up time here. They're both going up right now. And almost all my oil is out of the ground, so that's good. At 99 cents, a dollar four. Oh yeah, they're all about the same right now. This is probably when I should sell a dollar eight. Right ink is dropping. Left ink is, I think, pretty much stagnant right now. So uh, I think maybe I should do it right now. It's November, and we yeah we only have one month left, so I'm gonna have to do it right now. I think. So we're gonna connect to this, and we are going to close this rig, close this rig, add the gas and start boosting this price. You can see the price is dropping right now, so I want to start selling this as soon as I can, and hopefully this is going to boost the price enough. And attach this gas node, and finally this gas node. You can see the price is going up. Uh, I don't know if it's going to be too good. It's not going to be a $2 yield, but at least my pipes did end up working, so that feels good. $1.50. Uh, let's speed it up a little bit here. $1.70. Ooh, it's going to be almost $2. We actually hit $1.99 with that little amount of oil, so I can't really complain with how much we had in the ground. I think that was a great sale. We almost hit $2 there. So, not much else to do right now. My wagons are stopped. That means they're totally clean. So, let's stop the level. And, uh, remaining land lease value is zero dollars. So, I guess we're not getting anything back for ending early. Unfortunately, we didn't get the early bird bonus. So, we were ten days too late. But, getting that prime gas price is a little bit more important. So, there we go. Let's end the season. And, yes, you can see that was a very dry season. Bonus for all oil sold. Bonus for all... Oh, sorry. Bonus for all oil depleted. Bonus for all oil sold. And, bonus for all gas depleted. I don't think I've ever gotten that one. I didn't even know that was a thing, so that feels really good. Gotta say, we only profited 16,000, but I was pretty happy with that season, considering the uh, shitty ground that we had. So, not too bad. Let's see how we did against the competition. Ooh, really close. <laughs> Ricardo almost beat us there. Okay, but we're still winning, so I'm still happy about that. Still only $35,000, and I'm trying to remember if there's anything I really need. Uh, rig presser resistance, obviously that would be really helpful, but I'm not spilling too much anymore, so I'm not too worried about that. And once again, we've already talked about these. They aren't prime focus. Now, herd size 3 definitely could be a thing. I don't think it's worth $30,000 right now. First of all, I want to see how much the stock auction cur currently is. 2% share? God damn it. Why can't it be like a good 5%? Uh, okay, we're gonna start this, and I'm gonna bid higher than I normally do. I think I'm gonna do like 10,000, uh, just because I'm gonna have to start winning some of these things. Like, I, I can't be too frugal, damn it. Okay, but a lot of people have a lot of money, so someone might beat me. There we go. Nope, $9,478. I did win it, so that technically should put me almost to Joshua territory. He's got 13%, I got 11%. So I'm not too worried about stocks right now. Obviously, I can spend a lot of money, and I'm running out of upgrades anyway, so a lot of my money is going to go to buying those stocks. So most of the upgrades that I do want are over $30,000, so we're not going to buy anything right now. Let's quickly check these. $99. Doll 99 cents. Wow, for $7,500? That is really tempting. I think it's still a little too pricey, though, especially with gas on the ground. I generally don't sell for less than a dollar anyways, so I think that's going to uh, waste money. 89 cents, or sorry, 89 uh, put, but boosting it to 89 cents for 9,700. Obviously, if I don't like this one, I'm not gonna like that one at all. And then we got, of course, no fines for spilling of oil, but not worth $2,000 for sure. And fucking Anthony tempting me with his diamonds. I'm sorry I can't find a diamond in this damn ground. All right, let's go to a land auction. Not, not gonna buy anything this season. We're just gonna keep going here. I'm curious though. Oh my god, yes, okay, so I'm pretty happy with how I did, now that I see the fucking yield that I got, 20, are you kidding me? And I didn't actually know what these colors meant on the numbers, uh, you guys in the comments helped me out with that, uh, it's actually the people, so Daisy's green, uh, Blanche is red, uh, Ricardo's the dark blue, and Joshua is the brown, and then that just shows the past season, so that's really good to know, actually, didn't know that. So, for this season, I think I'm gonna go, I'm feeling good about this Buffalo Bill area. I don't know why I said Buffalo Bill area, the Bison area. Uh, it, I don't know why, I probably shouldn't go anywhere near where I've been mining, uh, but you know what, we're gonna try it out and see how it is. Anyways, let's hope it's a little better than last season, $2,000, here we go, and let's hope for the best. Stick fuckers, do your job. Okay, this guy found something up here. I just want to wait a second. Okay, they're not finding anything. That's scaring me a little bit. It's already January 8th, and these guys are upgraded to find things quickly. Uh, so let's hope there's a little bit more in the ground than last season, but I'm, I'm a little worried, to be honest. 
And the fact that this guy is still looking on January 14th, either he is an awful stick fucker, or there is two nodes in this ground. Okay, thank God he found something. That scared the fuck out of me. Okay, I'm actually gonna use a sensor for this though because it's probably directly below this one. Yes, and it's through rock as well. Uh, now the question is, do I get a loan? Because prices are god awful right now. So yeah, we're gonna get a thousand dollar loan. I'm gonna be a little bit more lenient on my loans here. So uh, let's put down a silo and start storing some of this. And I'm gonna upgrade my wagon, or sorry, my rig to drill through rock, just because I'm gonna need it anyways. But that node right there, if every node was like that and I only got three or four, I would be pretty damn happy. That's a really big node. Uh, let's actually take a peek over here too and see if we can find this one. And if it's worth it, yes, let's connect to that early on. We're gonna need <laughs> a lot of time to get that oil out of the ground. So I'm gonna get another thousand dollar loan. I didn't want to do that, but uh, I need some money right now, unfortunately. And prices, oh, they are actually going up quite quick. The last time I looked, it was at like 60 cents. So I just assumed it was still bad. But this is going quickly over a dollar, so we're gonna sell right now. And let's get a few more wagons out there because we're gonna need them anyways. And I want to sell as much as I can right now because that price is a sexy one. And let's get a couple more stick fuckers. I'm not gonna get too many because they took so long to find the oil. I'm feeling like there's not any more oil in the ground, or at least very small amounts. So I'm not gonna buy four like I usually do. Let's just buy two. And just because we can, let's buy a couple moles as well. Actually, they did already find something, so that's good to know. Uh, let's censor this guy and see if we can find something to attach to this rig. Yes! This feels great! This is gonna be a good season, guys. Okay, let's look for this one as well. Right here, right? Nope, that's rock. Okay, my mole did find something. I'm not sure if that that is gas. Okay, thank you mole for telling me that was gas so I didn't have to waste a sensor. Okay, let's upgrade both of these pipes to tier 2. These are two big nodes and I want to get a lot of it out of the ground if I can. Look at these prices though, man. Left and right ink. Why can't you always be like this? Alright, right ink is dropping though, so let's... Ooh, left ink's dropping as well, but left ink's dropping a little slower. So let's sell as much as we can to left ink until it starts dropping below 90 cents. And because we have two tier 2 pipes, this is going to fill up really quickly, so I'm going to upgrade my wagons to hold more. I'm not going to get the speed upgrade yet, but if I do need it, I will get it. Alright, I upgraded my silo. I'm going to hire a few more dowsers just to check... Also, I'm gonna hire a few moles to go higher in the ground because gas can be anywhere and I want to find as much of that gas as I can. Especially with how much oil we're gonna get this season. Definitely want to get those gas prices if I can. Alright, this guy's been waving. So, let's see if we can find what he's waving about. Maybe it's higher up. I do see something down here. Uh, that's probably it actually. So, let's just wait for... Let's, let's actually speed up time. Why the hell not? Uh, let's get two more silos though. I do want to start storing a lot of this put two right there and wait for those to fill up and then we'll increase their size as well that is definitely oil okay good to know so we're just going to bring a whole new pipe over to that okay may 20th i'm a little worried that there's not much gas in this ground you can see we only found one node so far and actually it probably wouldn't even be financially worth it to build a rig to attach to this gas node if we don't find a couple more at least so uh, we might not be doing the gas strategy this season. Oh my god, it's up to $1.30 now. We're gonna sell with all the wagons. Yes, please. I mean, I don't want to sell all my oil, but when writing's buying for $1.30, you don't say no to that price. Okay, we did find another one. Is that seriously that small? Am I seeing this right? Is this... What the fuck? What is that? <laughs> Oh my god, that is the littlest node I've ever seen. I mean, it's not about the size, guys, it's the way you use it, but I don't even think you could use that right. Let's <laughs> let's be fair here. A pipe is not even worth going to that. Oh, thank god, we did find another one that actually looks like it has a little bit of gas in it. <laughs> oh my god, that one's even fucking shitty as well. The, I mean, this one over here is a decent size, so it might be tempting to attach to it. Actually, no, it's not. They're both pretty fucking awful, to be honest. All right, left thing selling for $1.07. I don't think I'm gonna be doing the gas strategy this season just because well This 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 is why I'm not doing the gas strategy this season. All right the final chance I'm praying these moles find the mother load of gas because if they don't There's no gas strategy for this season guys I'm sorry I'm gonna hire three more moles spend 300 more dollars and look for that gas if there's nothing in here well, I guess I could easily attach to this node to left ink, but aside from that, it's really not worth the money to build the pipes. Right ink buying for $1.17. Yes, please. Let's actually upgrade the wagons for speed because I'd like to sell as much of this as I can. Oh, yes. Look at that silo just being sucked dry. This is fucking great. I love these 
boosted wagons. They really do a good job of getting oil out of the ground. Or sorry, well, oil out of silos really quickly. And just in case, let's upgrade this small little pipe to a tier two to suck this oil out of the ground. Because I would like to end early. Obviously, there's not much oil on the ground. Let's actually look and see how big this node is. But it's looking, yes, it's actually almost empty. So we should get the early bird bonus at least. I'm looking at prices right now. Lefting's going to almost a dollar. Yeah, we'll sell for a dollar. That sounds good enough to me. Again, we're not doing the gas uh, strategy this season just because it doesn't really make sense. What I can do, I guess, is try and boost this out of here just for fun because why not use the gas if we have it, right? Okay, so here we go. Boosting that gas out. That's going to clear that pipe right away. And there we go. That node is drawn. Okay, it's October 18th. I think I'm just gonna keep selling at 91 cents. Not that that's a bad price at all. We basically got all the oil out of the ground, all the oil out of my silos, so I'm not gonna wait and risk it uh, because we only have one more month to get the early bird bonus. Uh, so usually I sell for a dollar. I sell for 10 cents less for these few small wagons. I think it's worth it to ensure that I get that early bird bonus. So there we go. We are officially clean. Actually, you know what I should do to get that other bonus is get rid of this oil as well. If it costs less than $2,000, $353, definitely going to be worth it uh, because I do get the all gas depleted bonus as well. Well, assuming that all the gas is depleted, there might be some random gas around here, which I didn't really think about. But I'm a gambling man, so let's hope this is a good gambling strategy. So there we go. Let's boost this gas out and then call it a season. All right, little rig. End your fart so I can end this season. I'm getting a little worried this is going to take too long. There we go. All the gas is out of the pipe. Let's end that season. Withdraw land lease. We've got $166 back. And stop the level. Tell me there's no gas in here. Yes! Oh, fuck. There was a diamond, though. But you can't really be that mad when there is four bonuses that you get. That was my best season yet in terms of bonuses. Get all gas depleted, all oil sold, all oil depleted, and early withdrawal. So... Very decent season. Let's look at the grass right here. Uh, spendings and profit. Actually, it took me a long time to profit this season. Uh, it was just dry ground once again, unfortunately. So, once again, let's see how we pit it up against the competition. And I blew them out of the water, so that feels great. I'm actually really curious to see. Oh, and we got, I'm sure you could use a bit more oil storage capacity. Guess what? I have invented something for that. So, I think we get the mega silos now. Or, sorry, the super silos. So, basically, with this, you can attach two silos together to get one mega silo. And then you can store a serious amount of oil. We're definitely going to be buying that probably our next upgrade. But yes, guys, once again, that wraps it up for another episode of Turmoil. Did a little bit better this season, but we did have some dry ground, unfortunately. Regardless, I played both of them, I would say, perfectly. So uh, pretty happy with that. And yeah, I hope you guys are happy as well. As always, guys, thanks for watching and liking, and I will see you in the next one.